for host Q, a.k.a. Ant. He's going to bring some social, political, conscious state of mind. And also we have the wonderful, the beautiful, the amazing Jay Lyric, the BMI songwriter. And that, that, that kind of brings around. That kind of brings me around to the point where I was. Where I wanted to ask you a question. And um, the thing is, with um, with the industry, the way that it is right now, the way that everything is kind of set up, has any of the rappers ever really thought about? I mean, you you've seen rappers make movies, and and things like things of that nature. Has anybody yeah. ever really put like a documentary together of what the industry is really really about? Like what like mm-hmm. like the real hardcore depth of the industry, like like the niggas cutthroat out here. The white boys that you think is white boy, is they really cutthroat like that? And that's that's the type of questions that I would like to see on screen from rappers like you, you know, and from, from other people like that that's been in the game, that that been around real niggas in the game. Is is there a documentary out there? Is anybody trying to put a documentary out there to tell these little young rappers, hey, when you sign that contract, that might be some bullshit, but you need to know. Is there anybody out there trying to put something out there for the foot? Because there's a bunch of us falling into a propaganda type scheme. You see what I'm saying? The young kids, they're just rapping about anything nowadays. They ain't, ain't nothing makes sense. But they let right. me put it out there. Is anybody, yeah. I mean, because I, mean, I like to see people like you and a bunch of other artists who've been in the game say, hey, man, this is the rules to the game. When you're trying to rap, if you ain't following these rules, it ain't going to work. Anybody out there doing that? Um, Shit, we're doing it now. You know, brothers like me and you talking on, you know, radio outlets like this, you know, and the listeners, you know, they get that uh that inside game that they don't get listening to an album. You know, first of all, okay. I mean, first of all, everybody is independent right now. You don't need a record label, you know. Exactly. Nobody needs that. Every you, shit is at the push of a button or upload right now to where you can touch your uh your audience right now. You don't need a record label for distribution to get you on these record, record stores that shut down. All the record stores are shut down. Tower Records. All the little big right. stores is, is a wrap. It's over. You know what I mean? So records is obsolete. They're about to just well, start doing downloads to where CDs and DVDs are about to be obsolete. Shout out to, you know, Netflix and shit like that. The new cars yeah. don't even come with CD player. It comes with um, uh, a USB uh, connector, you know what I mean? Or, 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 no, or really, even if it was something on Netflix just to put together to say, because, I mean, the thing is, what's killing me now is I'm, I'm, I love hip-hop. I love hip-hop. Right. But now but I can't even, that. like, now I got kids now. I can't even listen to this shit because some of it is just garbage, bro. It's just like, I, y'all not even talking garbage. about that. It's all garbage. It's a lot of garbage. It's a lot of good shit out there, too. You got to admit. The it is. It is. You know, it's some good stuff. It's some good stuff out there. It's some great stuff out there. You got to go yeah, underground. You probably have to go underground to hear this. You have stuff. to. You have to. You almost yeah. have to. It's a few out there that, that, that that's naming the spotlight. But then there's there's rappers that's out there that, that, that really got something to say that can really Touch, touch the youth nowadays. Cause the youth nowadays, they just listen to, they just do whatever. I ain't even gonna, I, I, I ain't one for name dropping. But that song, there was a song called Blase, Blase, Blase. <laughs> I ain't got no, I, hey, uh, it was, it was the song. When I first heard it, I didn't know who did it when I first heard it. But when I first heard, it, I was like, these niggas tripping. They really made a song called Blase, and we're like, I'm gonna have everybody singing Blase, Blase, Blase. And I it's like want. they put it out there. Yeah. But I'm like, when you can make a song called Blase, 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 I ain't no rapper. But I mean, could I make a record? <laughs> and could it go play yeah, or go, depending record. on my image, just my image alone. Now, image is everything. <laughs> but if you put image out there, I mean, if, if image is all we running on. Because, see, when you was rapping, man, you was rapping about stuff. The people that you was rolling with, they was rapping about something. Even if it was right. hustling in the streets or even if it was, you know, hey, Check your consciousness, bro. This is what we need to be talking about. <laughs> One or the other, people was talking about something. They were talking about some blase, blase, blase right now, and it's on the radio getting spins. I'm like, what? What can we do to get away from that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, hip-hop is, is, is a youth-driven, you know, uh, genre. So at the end of the day, it's, it's what the kids dig, and the kids is doing their nay-nays and shit and they uh, dance True. moves to that. That type of music. They ain't doing no dance moves and, and fun shit to somebody telling their story or somebody rapping about some real life shit or something that can uh, something that can enlighten you. You know what I mean? Like that can actually give you game about life, a game about history, a game about something. You know what I mean? Real, uh, 
and shit like that. So it's about what they can dance to, you know what I mean, period. No. And the young 14, 12, 13-year-old, nobody want to listen to Al Sharif. You know, nobody now, outside of outside of Kendrick Lamar, do you think that anybody will ever come outside, come back with that kind of route and bring it back all the way, bring it all the way back to where, you know, it's a little message in there? I love self destruction. Self destruction, loved it. Mm-hmm. We all in the same game, loved it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but do you think yeah. anybody will ever come back with conscious rap with the with the way things are trending nowadays? Do you think that conscious rap? Well, when somebody say, hey, you know what? I can stand up on my own, too, man. I'm a king. Like Kendrick was saying, any G-U-S, that type of stuff, hey, really believe that. Because when NWA said, fuck the police, nigga, I was on board. And I was in the fifth, sixth grade then, riding. <laughs> right, right, Do you right. think that'll come back, though? <laughs> I want that to come back. Do you, ever, do, you, do you see any artists that you know right now that are even on that groove to bring it back like that? Oh man, you know it's 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 Bay Area niggas that's on fire, man. It's a youngster named uh uh Jay Stalin, that's dope as shit, that got that real life storytelling shit. It's a guy named uh Miley from Sacramento that's killing shit. He begin like one point seven million views per video, he kicking that live shit. What's his, I mean, what's his name again? Say that again. Nipsey Hustle, you gotta get Nipsey kicking that live shit. You know, okay, I know about Nipsey. That's independent, that, that's really, you know, kicking that street shit that, that people relate okay. to. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So that's what we need yeah. to be pushing. Okay, that, that's what I want to know, man. That's that's kind of my thing right there. I, you know, I, I love I love to hear the message in the music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely missing. I, I feel how you feel, though. There's definitely no message nowadays. It's just, you know, people just talking about what you say, blase, blase, blase. You know, and I, yeah. like, I don't even know where these motherfuckers from. Like, I know they city, but like you used to know what hood a dude from. Like, you know what neighborhood fucking uh, uh, Easy in them from. You know what neighborhood MCA from. You know what neighborhood Snoop from. He from okay. fucking yeah. Street okay. Street. Okay. Quick. You know what I mean? You know what neighborhood? You know you don't know it. I, I listen to Wiz for years. I know he from Pittsburgh, but what street? I don't know what street he from. Okay. There ain't no street called Taylor in Pittsburgh. So what hood is he from? You know, I've been listening okay. to uh, Jake. I don't know what Nate what street he from. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, you don't know their life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it makes a difference because you influence the whole community when you do that. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Yeah, so I don't, you know, like you ain't getting their life. You're just getting a party. You know, you're getting their party life. You ain't getting their real life. You know, I know Drake. Okay. Dad, this right. Look like some pimp nigga I used to, and I know his mom. I'm like, oh, that's it. I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's funny, it's funny you say that, though, bro, because nowadays these cats pop up out of nowhere, and they can say they're from wherever they're from. Right. <laughs> and don't right. nobody really know if they're from there or not. It's like, he from he from Chicago or he from L.A. <laughs> and right. Be like, is he, is he really from there? I don't know. He popped up. His song was hot. <laughs> yeah, you really don't know. So it's like, I mean... The credibility is gone, but with, with losing uh-huh. credibility, they also lose a little bit of, you know, they, they gain fans, but it's like the fan nowadays, you know, I mess with Easy e because Easy e said some shit that was just like, oh, my God, too short? I done heard him say some mm. things where I was like, man, I was reciting too short in the fifth grade, bro. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I'm talking about fifth grade. My mom ain't know what the hell I was listening to, but I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this cat right here? Uh, he's telling us how, these, how we run this thing with these, with these women, you know what I'm saying? At the time, you know, it was kind of cool. But, you know, growing older, you kind of see, but you know the real from the big then, but, you know, too short, real. Honey, it's always mm-hmm. been. But, I mean, he had, I mean, you know he's from Oakland. You already know what it is. It's stapled almost. These cats nowadays, wow. bro, I don't even know where they're from. I don't know where they're from. They're like, he's from Nebraska. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yuck, yeah. mouth. Yuck, Mal. You've been yeah. in this in this industry so long, you know that it's more politics than anything. That's the reason why some people can't or they won't be real with you. They don't want to put it. They'll they'll put out just a little bit because the label and no disrespect to the, you know because you know I work with them too and I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but um, they want you to kind of tone it down sometimes. But right. the reason why I love the independent labels, they don't they don't do that. They they want you to come real and raw. And True. so yeah. I think that's probably what the disconnect is when you turn on your radio and you're hearing blah 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 blah. 
as to where you may hear something underground or just from an independent label, and you're going to get the real. Right. Okay. Right. I think, I think um, basically, um, hip-hop is just, you know, uh, in, the, in the state to where everybody is copying each other. Like, even with the, with the mm-hmm. you know, the, 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 uh, the uh, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. The, just the down south type music. Like, the Migos came with a style. Now, everybody from fucking down south sound like the Migos. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. CZ came with a style. Everybody started trapping and dying. Drake came with a style. Now, everybody want to sing and be Drake. Right. You know? That's yeah. right. It's like everybody just following what's cool instead of being they self. It's no originality. Yeah, and even Drake came in, came in the game sound like Kanye West slash Lil Wayne and one nigga. So okay. mm-hmm. these, days, these two niggas in one. He ain't, he ain't nothing new that we ain't never heard. You know what I mean? He's two niggas in one. Kanye, he's 808, 808 heartbeat Kanye when he was singing, and he's Lil Wayne and one nigga. So at the end of the day, we still seeing the same shit. There's nothing new being done, you know? Uh, Kendrick right. Lamar, shout out him, but, you you know, you'll knock off Tech 9 you know, that spin gangster shit instead of, you know, the shit that Tech 9 did, you know, with the choppy mm-hmm. shit. No, I mean it. Everybody. Yeah, you know what, man? You, I ain't never thought about that until you just said it. I mean, hold on. I never Jay thought about it until you just said it. Fast, like that. Go back and listen to his shit. No disrespect to Kendrick, but he went on tour. Yeah, yeah, I know, sir. He learned a lot from my homie after that tour and came back rapping the choppy fast style. Now go back to where he was K Dot. He wasn't rapping choppy like that. So he took a lot. So that's Section Eighty. That's Section Eighty. Nah, he didn't rap like that. I see what you're saying, though. He took a lot from Tech Nine. So at the end of the day, uh, yeah, everybody's borrowing, not being original. You know, that's the, that's the whole fucked up shit about hip hop right now. Back in the day, mm-hmm. you know, the nineties, the eighties, you know, it used to be originality. You used to know who made that beat. You know, everybody mm-hmm. used to the same producers. You know, motherfuckers didn't use the same producer. Everybody had a producer that produced their own record label. You know what I mean? Right. Sound stay sound. You know what I mean? Everybody. You know, did their own style. You know, you knew if, if it was a Wu Tang record, you knew motherfucking RZA produced it. If it was a Hot okay. Boy record, you knew Manny Fresh produced it. You okay. know, if it was a Master <laughs> T record, you knew KFC, the Kitchen Niggas, they they did it. Okay. And Snoop, okay. Snoop, Snoop mm-hmm. record, you know, Dre did it. Nowadays, mm-hmm. you could get the same sound. If I want a, a sound that sound like Amigos, I can go straight to uh, straight to uh, motherfucking uh, uh, whoever. You know what I mean? What's the nigga name they were saying? Whatever, Zaytoven, any of them do. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Big type of fucking beat and, and be on the same swag they on. You know what I mean? It's not original. Everybody selling mm-hmm. these other styles to people. You know? Is, is there a lot of ghostwriting in the industry right now? Is there way more ghostwriting than we actually think in the industry right now? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of ghostwriting going on. You know, a lot I of can people, answer that. <laughs> Even, yeah, even I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with it if you if you can make it vibe because like Dr. Dre, no disrespect, love Dre, been down with Dre. I know people write his lyrics, but his album, that Compton album, sick. That Compton album was sick, yeah, and Dre I know he didn't write lyrics. a lot of the lyrics, but I know how I know how that works. Yeah, Dre get his lyrics written too. You know, shout out Quentin Miller, Miller. but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and Drake's got this dude out. You would think that the hottest people don't need help. Everybody need help. Wayne got some lyrics okay. written by him, you know, by mm-hmm. uh, Gilly the Kid and a few others. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, Baby get his lyrics written by Gilly the Kid. Was yeah. back in the day, a few others. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's not just Puffy. It's not just uh, Dre. You know, it, it's it's like some of the top artists that you'll never think like, damn, he need help with his pen. You know, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so yeah, it happens to the best. I mean, is that, is that I mean, in hip hop nowadays, is that the acceptable norm, so to say? Like, if you get ghostwriter, as long as you can flow and you can hold it and you got an image, is it okay to to have a ghostwriter and create an image off of someone else's lyrics? Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. If Puff Daddy did yeah. it, Puff Daddy did it, you know, and it was mm-hmm. cool when Puffy did it, you know, right when Biggie died, too. He took all Biggie fans in and became a mm-hmm. popular solo artist, you know, with people right. writing lyrics. Yeah. So if Puffy yeah. could do it, why not? You know, I think it's fair, yeah. you know, as long as the motherfuckers are making good music, that's what they care about. And they don't care, like, I noticed the, the new fans, they don't care about real shit. Like, we used to care about shit being real. Like, that used to be a big plus. Like, if you weren't real, if you weren't writing your own lyrics, if you weren't doing uh, if, but, <laughs> if you weren't writing your lyrics, if you was a snitch, if you was a police dude, if you was a faggot, no disrespect to the gay community, but if you were gay, none of that shit would fly. 
Period. You got yeah. this. Nobody fuck with your music. Your sales go down. You get no. Nah, nobody fuck with you. Right now, you can now do all that. Shit. I you can do ask all you a that question. And, and the fans fuck with you. Like people put out documents on people and show that they had a uh, 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 fucking uh, uh, restraining orders, and people don't believe it. Like, oh man, that's fake. We rocking with who we. No, what happened? With. I don't know. What happened? The, 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 that that paradigm just game. shifted. Everybody would like, you know, because at one point you was like, you know, I mean, uh, somebody rapping is like, yeah, man, I feel that. I feel them. I was like, you don't really feel the artist so much as you feel what he's mm-hmm. saying or what he's talking about and the image he portrays. I see, I, 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 I ain't going to drag you all night on images, but propaganda means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Especially when we're talking about hip hop, this is this is my culture. These are my people. So when we're talking about just putting out an image just to say it's an image, to me it's so yeah. a little salty about that. You know what I'm saying? I like to hear if, if if you can't rap, but you but you ride the beat, and there's some artists out there that I, that, that couldn't rap that ride the beat, and I buy their shit every day because they ride the beat, and I listen to what they're saying and what they're saying, they mean it from the heart. Well, somebody else is writing that. Can that artist really and truly believe what he's saying? Fuck no. Yeah, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> that's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted that to hear. Right straight here. to the point. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. But like you said, Thank everybody's you. talking about real shit. People just talking about swagging, okay. you know, ripping the guy, you know, fucking docs, you know, popping bottles. So anybody can rap about that. You know, it ain't, you ain't really got to pertain to somebody's life now. Somebody's rapping about somebody's life. Like, oh, I'm in a neighborhood, you know, slinging this, doing that, shooting shit up. And it's a ghost rider. That's when you question that gangster. Like, whoa, bro. Okay. He's going out his way to show your racks and somebody else wrote it, you know. That's when it's okay. in question. But, but doing this party rap, anybody can do that shit. Wow. I mean, does it seem more as a hustle now? Like, just like, hey, make you a song. It don't matter if the rap is a hot song. Get the money and, and flip that. Or is it like, are you really trying to get on the awards, you know, trying to get some, some recognition and put a message out? Of, you think nowadays it's kind of like, you know, you know how – Somebody give you a fifty pack, you flip it. You know, is it like that? Now we're rap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, I mean, the shit is fake, fake as hell. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's reality rap. It's like a reality yeah. show. You know, I'm watching. You know, rehearse scenes, fake shit. You know, like wow. reality they, is real. They they uh set them scenes up. You know what I mean? They rehearse. You know, okay, you're gonna do this. You're gonna sit over here. You know, of course, they don't, you know, set up the fights or whatever. They give them how to lick it and let it turn up, but they set up the scenarios. Yeah. You're going to have two enemies eating dinner at the same spot. Like, what is my enemy doing here? Okay, I'm about to fuck them up. So You I know mean, what? I think I know what you're talking about. I ain't even going to go there with you, but, yeah, I see it, too. I see I'm from the outside looking in, and I see exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it, it, it's fake. You can't believe it's this fake. shit no more. You know, it's everything everything is staged. Fact. Yeah, you used to be able to believe, like, if a rapper said he did this, that, and the third, you believe it. Like, shout out Rick Ross. You know, he talking mm-hmm. all this mm-hmm. deep pain, you know, dope from Boca Tosh shit, and he was a, a correctional officer. You know what I mean? Yep. But, hey, sometime in his life he was able to do that. But he went to college and all this extra shit, played football, but he was able to be the, you know, drug dealer on the block. How can we believe that? Nobody give a fuck. They still rocking with his music, so it don't. Nobody cares like that no more. I don't think. You know? Which is it's kind of a good thing, and I see what you're saying because it's kind of like, uh, what's the guy that wrote um the Goodfellas, uh, 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 the Godfather? It's like you write a good story about some gangster shit. Right. Yeah, it's a good story. Exactly. It's a good story. So I, mean, I just right. want you to tell the story. I don't care if you ever went through it. You ain't never seen nobody right. get cut with a saw, but it don't really matter. Just tell the story. I want to see it. It's entertaining. I like this. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. stories and shit. They don't care who who it comes from, what their background is, who they was. They could be an FBI, a former FBI agent rapping. They all well, shit. Well, Donnie Brasco asked me. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, it is what it is. No disrespect to T.I., man. T.I. got on the stand, man. Like, you can't get on the, you can't get in the stand on the 90s and be like, it's still relevant. Like, I think got on the stand and like, whoa. You know? Hey, yeah. Drake got on the stand. <laughs> Drake got robbed and Toronto got on the stand. They don't talk about that. You know, that's just They never going to talk about that. Which, yeah, which you, kind of brings me to my stand. point, again, like, when it comes to control, Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can ask you guys questions all day. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no disrespect to nobody. No, I mean, I just, I, 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 I love talking to a real nigga, man. He put me through some real oh, shit. What are you talking about? Oh, it, 
Because T.I. is an old school homie, man. He be fuck with rap a lot heavy, man. He fuck with Pimp C, rest in peace, Pimp C, and Lil J. So no disrespect yeah, no to T.I., but that boy hit the stand and they fuck with him. Period. Right. Know, it, it, it was kind of it was kind of forgiving because I know I know I'm a, I know multiple fellas. I got a friend that got caught with one bullet and they gave him all his time back. One bullet. Wow. Right. One bullet. So I mean, if you get back, I got a partner that was out. He was he was free world steak and shrimp and got caught with one bullet and they were sending him back to the pen for two, three years for one bullet, not a gun, a bullet. Mm-hmm. 